The news that could very well affect your dinner hour. The move by a major American supermarket tonight to reveal whether the food you're buying has been genetically modified, what some critics call Frankenfoods. It happens far more often than many think, and here tonight, ABC's Lindsay Janis. These rows of brightly colored fruits and vegetables are one of the reasons Whole Foods has developed a cult-like following. But tonight, questions about whether the trend-setting grocery chain's latest move could kick off a movement that other stores follow. Genetically modified foods are produced from crops that have had specific changes to their DNA, often designed to make them grow faster, resist disease, or produce extra nutrients. Now Whole Foods is telling suppliers if they're using GMO ingredients, they need to say so on the label. The company says its customers are demanding the move, even saying that suppliers who advertise foods as GMO free have seen sales increase by 15%. But the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has long ruled that so-called frankenfoods are safe and no different from other foods. Independent research backs that up. But will the move strike a chord with shoppers? I think just having a family, it makes me more concerned about their effects on children. I just think that they don't know enough. Farmers were fine before there were genetically modified organisms. I'm sure they're going to be fine after. 70% of the food that we eat, the processed food, has ingredients that have had their DNA changed in some way. Tonight, the bottom line, David, even though the government says they're okay, not all consumers are convinced. A lot of questions. The question is, will other, suit, other markets now follow suit?